back to the Biz Lectube channel. My name is Kaylin and I have a new and exciting video because I'm about to plop right down onto my bed. Hey yo, what's up? Um, so I want to do a reading vlog this weekend because I have so much to read and I finally have the time to do it. So the main gist of this reading vlog is I am going to try to read 50 books this year. Um, so my Goodreads goal for this year is 24 since I'm going to be 24 years old this year. And as of right now, I currently have read 44 books. I haven't logged a book yet. Um, I'm currently reading Diary of the Wimpy Kid, a Contagion by Aaron Bowman. Like, I have a couple of reads. Like, there's also Vampironica that I want to sleep mask in there but I also want to get to Vampironica. There are so many books that I want to read. And my bright idea, my bright human self decided it was a good decision to um, check out the Goodreads Choice Awards because those are on right now and I actually have read quite a few books on these lists. Um, right now we're in the semi-final which is scary because the first round I was like oh my goodness I read so many books and I was just like so shocked at me being like on top of it this year because normally I'm like well I read like maybe two books and I'll just vote for them but this year I actually got a lot read to help get me to my 50 book goal this weekend and finishing some other books I have decided to go to the library which I love the library and especially what I'm going to the library for. I'm going to the library. So this is the semi-final round nominees. I've already read and voted for Pumpkinheads because I love it and nobody's changing my mind. So as I scroll down, there's a bunch of other um, graphic novels that I have not read yet. I've read um, Under the Moon, which was all right. Um, there's like Adventure Zone that I'd like to get to. Maybe Laura Dean is breaking up with me. Mooncakes, I got that off of uh, NetGalley and I still haven't read it. Teen Titans Raven, The Wicked and the Divine. Like I just want to get to more of these. I also have um, Poetry for the semi-final round nominees. I have read Atticus's book. I've also read Amanda Lovelace. And I think that's it for poetry. Yes, that's it for poetry. But I do want to pick up more poetry books to fully decide on which book that I want to vote for best poetry. So that being said, I want to go to the library, pick up some poetry books, pick up some graphic novels, and try to read the most that I can possibly read this weekend. I know I'm neglecting my TBR. How dare I? Like, what's new? Like, Kaylin goes to the library and rents out like 20 books, <laughs> but doesn't read any of the books at home. I also really want to start Six of Crows by Lee Bardugo because it's just so beautiful and everyone raves about this book. I also want to start Psych by Neil Schusterman because the last book in the trilogy is out. Like there's so many things that I want to read. And then here I am going to the library picking out poetry books and graphic novels. But I know I'll get them done, easy, quick reads. I'm gonna be over my Goodreads goal this year which is super exciting because I know I have it in me. I have a whole month and a half left and I'm just dying to get to 50 bucks this year. Let's go on a little journey into my vehicle to the library to pick out some books. I'll see you once I get to the library. <laughs> Um, another rough cut of the vlog thought it'd be better but it was not so after I went to the library checked out my books I have here that I'm gonna talk about I ended up I had to go back to work do a couple of things then I went to Wendy's because I was starving and I was so tired and I was like if I eat so much food I'm gonna fall asleep it's gonna be great 
And then I got home, ate some food, watched the challenge, which I have a lot of feelings about because like I thought this big competitor, her name's Jenny, she has like quads coming out of her freaking shoulders, she's a beast, and it, I'm not gonna spoil her anything because I don't know if anyone watches that that's watching my channel right now but that was on so that shook me and then it's like I'm ready to go to bed because I'm tired and then it's now like 10 30 I spent a roughly um 20 15 minutes reading today I have started Diary of the Wimpy Kid The Wrecking Ball by Jeff Kinney and I haven't uh, finished it yet, so I got a little bit more reading done. I have this much left to go. And then the books I got at the library, the library had like a really awkward slim section, so I don't know if there's gonna be more online through Libby or if I'm gonna go out and buy another couple poetry books, I don't know. So the only poetry book that I could find that was in the categories was Empty Bottles Full of Stories. This is by Robert M. Drake. Do I know anything about this book? No, I don't even know if I'm gonna like it. I don't even know if I'm gonna read it actually at this point after I spent like 20 minutes looking for books at the library. Next up, I got um, two graphic novels that are also on the Goodreads list and one is Kimmy Garcia's Teen Titans Raven. I'm picking this book up because my really good friend Bryce, um, he used to be an old coworker and he went last year for Halloween as Beast Boy and his ex-girlfriend went as Raven. So this is literally the only reason why I'm picking this book up is because Bryce went as Beast Boy and I haven't seen anything about Teen Titans in like years. Don't even know if he's in here, but there we go. That That's... And then Laura Dean keeps breaking up with me because I know a lot of people have been talking about this graphic novel. I particularly looked at the... The illustrations it's not really necessarily my type i don't really care for like the coloring either so i'm like well i'm still gonna pick it up we'll see if i get to these three books i mean i already know what i'm going to vote for for the goodreads um challenge choice but maybe one of these three books can change my mind change my mind i am currently living my best life right now for this portion of the vlog it is november 20th and it's thunderstorming outside like i am so excited like it was super foggy this morning kind of really foggy all day and now it's pouring and there was thunder and i have melted like this is the most perfect thing that i could ask for to get me in the root <laughs> mood to read I've been kind of struggling lately, like yesterday, I just was over it. Today, I came home, I was going to read, and then I just fell asleep, and I was just... I'm in this weird mood where I'm like, I don't really want to read anything, but I need to read things to get to 50 books by the end of the year, because that's my new goal now. But I lit a candle, I have some water, I have my book that I'm currently reading, and since it is raining and not snowing thank goodness because i hate the snow and i hate winter it's just this awesome feeling that i just want to get all the reading done now tonight so my plan is to finish this bad boy right now while it's still raining i just can't find a good angle like i'm sitting way too high up in this bed and i don't want to hold my hand up because i'm lazy and oops i just spoiled a little bit of this clip for you so let's let's get you settled in there there we go and the latest clip was me reading and eventually finishing diaries of wimpy kid the wrecking ball by jeff kenny this is the 14th book in the series which i rated four out of five stars it was one of my favorites out of the series i think the last two have become one of my favorites out of the series because they're just so relatable there's so much humor and with parents who like to renovate houses all the time like this could not be any more true <laughs> so I finished that. Um, life update, life has been pretty hectic. I finally got a great, awesome, amazing schedule that is going to work wonders with my reading life and reading schedule, hopefully this winter season. But by the end of this year, I want to read 50 books. And right now I'm currently at 44 and my goal this year was to read 24 books, so 
overachiever status here, but I want to read 50 books this year and so my goal is to continue reading comic, graphic novel, poetry books, hmm, something easy and quick that I can read. So next up that I plan to read is Love and Misadventure by Lang Leave. This book was recommended to me by a Barnes and Noble bookseller. Yay. So we'll see if um, their recommendation was awesome. I also picked up Vampironica around Halloween time. I randomly stumbled across this. My friend Foshi and I were in Barnes and Noble just hoot tooting around <laughs> and looking at all the books, making him read some Sarah J. Mass, uh, Court of Mist and Fury. <laughs> I haven't read it yet except for page 22. And so I made him read page 22. It, that was interesting. We then eventually head over to the graphic novel comic section where this was just kind of like this on the shelf and I was like, don't mind if I do like I shouldn't but I'm going to so I splurged on that so I want to read those two books I'm still currently reading Contagion I'm still in the middle of it will I finish it who knows I do care about like two main characters in this book I really do care about like two souls very much and I'm like scared to death like something's going to happen to them will they die um there's one girl that I absolutely hate and that I want her to die so I do want to see the outcome but will I I don't know I tend to get halfway through books now and then just stop and then like a month later pick them back up and finish them. It has been that month point, that month mark, so will I finish it? And last but not least, last year I ended up picking up Illuminae by Amy Kaufman and Jay Kristoff around Thanksgiving time. And I remember I would get off of work, read Illuminae, and then like go to bed, and then read Illuminae, go to work, go to bed. It's like this endless cycle of work, illuminate, sleep, work, illuminate, sleep. And it was just, I think it was like the book that I read like within the quickest amount of time in a long time. And it was one of my books that reignited my love. And like, I got so excited. The audiobook was amazing. The one guy was a freaking creep in the book. It was, it made me afraid of artificial intelligence though, but it was an amazing, outstanding book. And I loved it. So, that being said, around Thanksgiving this year, I plan to read another book that I think I will love and also give another five stars to, and that is Six of Crows by Lee Bardugo. I've been afraid and hesitate. I've been afraid to read this book for I don't know how many years I've owned it, but the black edges are just so beautiful, and I'm afraid I'm gonna like destroy them or ruin them or I'm gonna drop the book. Like I drop this book between the bed and it got a little scratched up so I'm kind of upset about that but like that's what I'm afraid is going to happen to this book I'm scared and you know what it's winter now there's no point of going outside and reading in it there's no damage that way like I'm gonna sit my butt in my bed with this heated blanket that's currently on my lap and on my legs toasted me up but I'm going to sit here and hopefully read it this Thanksgiving season I am going to spend Thanksgiving, I will eat and read and ignore everything else in life. <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to do any Black Friday shopping. I have like a couple of things planned, but I just need to like want to have like this motivation and the effort to do it. Otherwise, like I probably won't. I'll probably just be sitting on my butt in reading all weekend long. So that's exciting i thought i'd give like a short little wrap up of like what the heck is going on where i've been i wanted to finish this vlog like many times but i've just been either sleeping eating or working so anyways don't forget to hit like and subscribe if you want to see more vlogs hopefully they'll all make coming soon now since i have more time to do some reading and discovering and all that fun jazz so let me know in the comment section down below what you've been reading lately and anyways it's gonna be it so have a wonderful awesome time. I don't know if I'm getting this up by Thanksgiving, but if not, happy Thanksgiving this year or happy Thanksgiving next year in 2020. Anyways, that's gonna be it. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you guys later with a new video or vlog or whatever happens first.